Oh my god, we're back here again. All sense of continuity is truly and utterly out the window. Also, I've got to replace so much of the game again, again, again. Ah. This is one of the appeals when you're exploring for the game for the game that is exploration based to be a little more open rather than a series of linear hallways is that if you ever want to go back to a place you got to replay everything again. I think this will work. There we go. So after press the button that unveils the train crash, these buttons work as a result. I don't even know what that one does, but I pressed it. Am I going to blow up? Okie dokie. Anyway, we haven't been in here yet. Hello. It's the crane trash. The crane trash. Wow. Nailed it. Blowing up. Fucking give me all the YouTube money. I'm the king of saying words for money. Tr crane trash. What's up here? I can ride it. Oh. Look at them physics. Oh, we're going to physics today. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? This seems not safe. I'm going to take general guess there, really. What are you for? I assume you're for something. Am I supposed to knock these out of the way? Because they're like the same item? As low as it goes. Yeah! That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Aha! Look at it spin! Look at it spinning! The hook is spinning! How does that physics work out? Oh, Source Engine. You had your limits. Anyway... Uh... That's probably what I- uh, Um... Oh, that's how I got in. I was like, where am I? I'm all lost and confused. Alright, so I think I did the thing I was supposed to do? I hope? We just gain access to the rest of the chamber. An actual physics puzzle. We are not used to having those. Are you accessible? You are now. Well, okay then. Let's go into Mushroom Land, where I'm sure it's very safe to be. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, we're good. I thought it was, I thought it was broken. Yeah, we kind of already photographed it at this point. There's a bunch of glowing fungus around the train in a game that has a history about some kind of big train accident. Doesn't take too much to put two and two together there. Do you work? Because you have a light on above you. Okay. That might be my clue as to which ones are going to work. It's still spinning. Look at that hook spin. Oh, physics. There's a leak. Oh, no. What are we all knowing? What are we all knowing? Oh shit! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, the camera like was like there is the point of interest. It, like it focused on that, so I thought it was like the forklift. I don't understand. Um, that's all the dead people from the train. How many? Oh. Why you gotta take the... You gotta take the teddy bear and make it something horrible?
Well, that's a horrible picture. Hooray! Uh, so they're all dead. They're very dead, and they're probably very decomposed and very unrecognizable at this point. Well, congratulations, me. I'm unco- uh, wait, are those two bodies in one bag? Is that even an option? Wait, these aren't bags, though, are they? They're, they're probably just blankets. They don't look like bags, like the one we saw before. Yeah, it's, you can see it sticking up there, so they're- they're blankets. Well, that's horrifying. Am I able to go back here? I can. What kind of horrible secrets are kept in the back of the nightmare room? Do you work? I don't think you work. Oh. Random chips. There's a re it seems to be a reoccurring thing where there's like people that like go off and hang out and have snacks or something in a mystery corner. But that gets but the gag runs a little darker when it's the room full of dead people. And it was a dead and it's a cover up for a bunch of people that died. If I fall in there I might die. Listen, I might not be able to get back out. Period. Well shit. Don't fly don't land on the body, please. Um, well, hopefully I get these photos out to people. Because all, all the, uh... Until now, it's been like... Well, there was the one body, obviously, but there's tons of, like, corporate corporate espionage and questionable business dealings and unethical practices and, and whatnot. But then you have straight up, like... Oh, God. These saves... Trying to keep these things straight. Uh, but it, most of it isn't really heavy on uh, people dying. But now I got people dying. Uranium enrichment. Um. <laughs> that seems like a not good thing. Interesting. That seems like not what should be down here. Um. Y'all making warheads? Is that what we're going on? Or is it some kind of innocent type of uranium enrichment? If I knock one of these things over, do we all die? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. I can't climb on this. It's impossible. You can't press these buttons. This looks way more organized than the nightmare creation that I had in Factorio for uranium enrichment. Can't go this. What the? Am I stuck? Weird. There's like an obstacle here like that stops you dead in your tracks. Okay, so huge cover up of a bunch of dead people. Uranium enrichment facilities. Possibly this isn't. I, is this a different accident? than the one that people know about, I wonder? Is this actually a full-on cover-up? Like an accident that no one actually knew about that's been covered up because it happened to fall into a location that they didn't want anyone to know about, so they just hid the whole thing? And who's drawing bunny rabbits on there? What? What are those drawings? Can I come in, please? That's interesting. The presence of the box suggests that this thing went into disrepair enough that it was like this, but then somebody placed that there to get across it after it was already in disrepair, either because there's someone like me, or there's someone who, or maybe this place was revived and put back into operation at a later point than its original point. Laboratory. Sleeping quarters. More phones. Haven't seen those for a while, but they don't have any... They don't have earpieces. Is this a known location? This all seems new. I don't think I've been here. It just looks really similar because everything kind of looks like this. Alright, I need a sleeping quarters code. That doesn't open. Might never open. 
for all I know, you open it up and get a lethal dose of radiation immediately. Oh. Oh, that opens. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Oh, we're back here. Hello. That's the uh, hallway where you can... with the detectors that you can just fart on in order to escape. We're back here now. This is the door that didn't open before. I've now opened it from behind. So now we know where we are. I need a code for the sleeping quarters. I'm trying to remember if I already know a different code or not. Radiation hazard. You better put your suit on. This place was an active use, it looks like. Those aren't opening up for me? Too easy? <laughs> Make ourselves a new save, because I don't trust this room to not kill me. There's only one way to be sure, right? Uh, handling radiate radioactive isotopes, which is going to be uh, listed on your uh, death certificate or coroner's report or I think I can fit this in whatever the applicable thing is. Hello. Right, I should see if I can photograph anything in this room. Not in the sweeping way. Maybe individual documents we find later. What? Richard, I've told you over and over again to use proper... prof... Is that proper? It looks like profit or propet. Propane. And to use proper precautions when experimenting with the core and the reflector. A mere screwdriver is not safe no matter how good your pre press press to digitation is really you're going to split the words i the word is across the gutter and no and how cautious you claim to be if that reflector locks in we're all dead okay so if the reflector locks in we die apparently nobody would write like this by the way Told when and is are all split across the gutter, which means that whoever made this asset, they created it as a single image, and then they split it across two pieces of paper when they were applying it to the game. It was supposed to be a singular note, and they wrote it, then they spread it across two pieces of paper because it didn't fit the... They probably chose this place to put it after they'd already written it, and it didn't fit anywhere, so they... Like, uh, it doesn't really look, look like... It doesn't look right if it's on one piece of paper, so I'll... It could go across both, but it doesn't look right on two pieces of paper either. It looks like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes no sense here. I bet you there's no whiteboard in this room. There's a whiteboard. Uh, well. Because, like, that's... That is an asset you create to plaster across, like, a whiteboard. Like, the... I guess it's a drafting tape board, though, isn't it? I mean, it's still... It still has dry erase, right? Yeah. You you would you would you would uh, plaster it across something like this, and then it would look natural, like it was like it was meant to be there. Like it's where, where somebody would randomly write something like that. Well, I am. Uh, I have now reached peak levels of I'm not qualified to be in this room, because now not only am I, is it way outside of anything that this character is likely to know about, and definitely outside of what I know about. Uh, it's also a room that could kill him, I think. I think. Can't find can't anything- carry any more of these. I can't find anything that lets me open it. Let me open things. Let me do it. Let me do it. No. It's just... 
Can I press buttons on top of this? There's no buttons. Like there, it looks a lot like the thing we saw before, but rusted and horrible and non-interactive by comparison. Computers definitely look old. Is there something around here that looks like it's particularly in disrepair? Ah. I don't want to I don't want to leave empty-handed, but I feel like I'm going to be leaving empty-handed with just the knowledge that this room exists and nothing else. I have like a ton of these things. I just me. don't see anything to do. Can I jam you in there? No. There's an Osmo Olut bottle in there. You can't even photograph this. Oh, you can. Whoops. I thought I tried that already. Whoops. I think that's it. Well, I might as well leave this room before I die horribly. Although I'd die, probably die a little later in the process. There we go. I'm officially clean. I'm cleaner than I've ever been. Congrats, me. Yeah, you don't open. And this sleeping quarters thing puts me back over here. We've been through all of here before. I'm trying to remember if they showed me a code anywhere. Cause I explored this like a while ago now, like multiple sessions ago, because I keep coming back to this damn place when I think I'm done with it. Uh, right. Gotta re-photograph these kinds of things. I don't know if I know a sleeping quarters code can't, can't for, for the one door this. that clearly has a keypad by it, but I don't necessarily know the code for it. The door code is two. Two zero seven seven. There we go. That's where it was. The familiar thing. Give me a second to take a photograph of that. I'm definitely gonna forget to re-photograph a few things just because I'm re-photographing so. That's the locked door, isn't it? That I saw from the other side earlier. So I'm, I'm playing so many zones of this game three times over at this point that it's really hard to remember what I've done each time. Like, really hard. We'll see. But if I lose minor details, I'm only doing it to gain larger details, right? That's hopefully worth it. Excuse me. Yep, there we go. 2077. Uh, this way. That's the door that wasn't opened before. And I opened it with my giant mega brain. Haha, -ha. you better have something cool on you. Oh cool, creepy handprints. And state's accommodation achievement unlocked and it has a noose on it. So that's not a good sign. That's no bueno. You're not supposed to have that in there. No, no, no. That's a leak. Why can't I photograph the leak? How do you know what to prioritize? Osmo Olut. That's what the game knows how to prioritize. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. That is some reflective water. Well, after I saw State's Accommodation, I'm definitely anticipating a body somewhere around here. What do you say? You're blank. Somewhere out there, a, a door now opens. Thursday 16. I'm really starting to think that Richard isn't doing so well. He has an unsettling gaze, as if he might grab a knife and start stabbing people at any moment. No one likes being around him. Even the guards keep their distance from him. At night, I can hear ba uh, banging and other disturbing noise from his room. I'm trying to figure out why Richard st uh, stole paint cans from storage. Is he redecorating his room? 
I might be getting paranoid, but I think I can sometimes see a dark silhouette of a human figure in the hallway between Richard's room and mine. I must be going crazy, after being a prisoner for so long in this cursed bunker. Something has gone terribly wrong. The guards locked the doors yesterday. I heard rumors that some metro accident that happened near the main hall or some explosion. Richard hasn't shown up since what that happened. I doubt he caused the accident, but something did happen in his room. If they don't let us out of here, I'm going to sneak out and find out what happened. Berg has just escaped. I can't believe he just left us here. He escaped shortly after the guards brought him back. Before that, he told us to wait a few days until everything is normal. The others are trying to figure out how Berg got out. I need to see what's in Richard's room before I leave. I hope he doesn't kill me. Did he kill you? Interesting. Good old video games and how every mirror ever has to be broken uh, or disgusting and dirty in order to deal with the fact that rendering reflections seems to be very hard. I have... I don't know anything about what makes them hard. All I know is that they're so they're so clearly avoided consistently by video games that I just have to assume that they're uh, very hard. Wow, that really broke easily <laughs> from like six inches above the floor. Glass is usually not that fragile. Ah, maybe that's what I had the key for. G2, what the fuck? I'm gonna pr de facto automatically take a picture of that without even knowing why. What the hell? What do you mean you're not, you don't want to photograph this? Are you crazy? You're an it. Our protagonist is a real dummy if he thinks this is not worth photographing. I don't care what his justification is and what he thinks his job is. Also, I'm standing in it, so that's pretty horrifying. Uh, G1, G2, G3. Inside, I tell me, it's behind wall. G1, G2, G3. There's a ghost. Photograph the crap out of this stuff. I don't even care if it's wasting photos. What the hell? This is like Silent Hill. In fact, this is like an actual room that I've been in in a uh, Lone Survivor. Not an actual room. Ah, uh, you have to holster one of your two items nice to, re to reload something. Batteries left. There we go. Well, this is concerning. Um. Hey, a sledgehammer. <laughs> Maybe I need that. Nope. Seems like someone was keeping their shit bucket here. And their bed. Intriguing. There's a bunch of locations, I think. Lead, blue, suit, god, man, city. G1, G2, G3. There's just tons of numbers. Can't interact with it. All I can do is just look at it. Take my photo and be and be on with it. The hell is going on here? I still have nine packs of batteries left. Hey, little dinosaur. There he is again. Alright, well, somebody needs a psychiatric, psychiatric evaluation. Uh, and it won't be me. I'm out. I am out. Goodbye. You do you, man. I feel like there's a decent chance they're dead. Call it a hunch. Now, what would be really convenient is if I find out that there's, like, a secret passage around here that takes me exactly where I left off in the future. Like an alternate path. 
Nope, that one doesn't open. This punk. How, how does this bunker just keep going? Like at some point, holy crap, man. I like that we're just taking 500 nondescript photos of the same mushrooms. There's clearly a way up here. I saw that door at G3 on it. Maybe that's what they were referring to when they when they were writing that stuff. Oops. That didn't work. Did not realize you can climb those kinds of ladders. In, in video game, I mean. Obviously, that's what ladders are for. There's clearly a grate over there, so I want to be over there, but this thing's not touching the wall, so it's kind of hard to reach. Maybe that one. Come on. There's clearly something over there. Just let me up. There's something I can carry up here? Come on. I think you have to be walking into something to climb it. And I can't climb it because I can't walk into it because there's a gap. Oh, there we go. It worked that time. Why, why put a gap there? Now, what have you got? Okay. This might lead- this might leave the area, actually. Let's check over here. The G1, G2, G3. These are five and six. Six opens. Uh... Hello, creepy teddy room. How do you do? And that one has a screwdriver. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. A little less threatening. At first, I thought I had a knife. Screwdriver is kind of a downgrade by comparison. Not complaining. Oh, so this is what these rooms are supposed to look like. Ten packs of camera batteries. Not a bloody nightmare. This is the bed for my body, and this is the bed for my mind. This room might be important from the G1, G2, G3 mentions. I have like a ton of these things already. Or the G1, G2, G3 could be referring to something else. This room is also a weird mess and has the same painting in it. I don't think I have anything else to go on. Alright then, creepy tunnel it is. There we go. Just go ahead and get our save ready in case I, like, fall into something. So the obvious question is, does this connect in any way to where we were before? Oh? Am I... Wow, it's either really green or really not green in that direction, depending on where I'm standing. Ah. That's what I was expecting to hear. So I'm getting back to the tunnel that the code came from in the first place. This door is probably the one that I saw from the other side before that wouldn't open. And by that door, I mean this door.
Here we go. That connects back to the tunnel. I'm gonna have to replay that area again. Cause, it, it, Cause if anything, if any of this stuff affects the ending and I'm taking that gamble, I've gotta go full into it. So now we've got this stuff to account for, so I've gotta replay everything I've done for like the last few hours again. Oh, I'm gonna be so behind. Well, that's a cool visual. Blinking green light behind a fan and the fans creating the spiral lights in the in the hall. Neato. I keep I keep pressing the shift button. I keep thinking like I'm I can go faster. It's like nope. Easy to forget that I'm crawling sometimes because we have we have no sense of scale, so it's easy to for my brain to just think this is a larger hallway that we're walking down than a small one that we're crawling in. Oh, is there nothing down here? Can't carry any more of this. I can now. I still have nine packs of batteries left. There was nothing in that direction. Okay. So I'll leave another nested save, just in case. But otherwise, we're gonna go with the assumption that I have discovered everything here, maybe? I hope. Or I'll have to go through all this area again! The constant point of no returns are a bit of a bummer. Just because I could just walk back here otherwise. And all the puzzles would still be solved, so I would just would I would just be running down a hallway to backtrack for a bit. But I have to I definitely have to load old saves and uh, from hours ago if I want to backtrack anywhere. And I constantly make a I constantly have to make value choices of whether or not it's worth it. Like that one time where I had climbed across that one collapsing platform and I found myself at it too high and I kept trying to jump down to force my way to get back, and it wouldn't let me because I would die no matter what. That was one of the times where I was like, ah. Uh, Fine, I'll just move on without seeing whatever was in that one room. But the bunker seems important. The train seems important. So, I'll suffer for the art. <laughs> Alright, see you guys when we're back where we were.